Let's explore this cool geometry problem from the 2022 AMC 10 and 12B. The diagram below shows a rectangle with side lengths 4 and 8, and a square with side length 5. Three of the vertices of the square lie on three different sides of the rectangle, as shown. What is the area of the region inside both the square and the rectangle? Hmm, so it seems like the shaded region is just, it's almost a rectangle with just a little triangle removed from it, basically. Or it's even a square, because we're given it's a square with size like 5. So the area of the square is just 5 squared, 25. So that's the area of this whole region here. So now we have to find a way to subtract out this triangular area. How should we do that though? Hmm. Okay, so we're also given this rectangle. Let's see how we can use the information over there. That's four, right? So this will also be four because it's, well, a rectangle, right? So that's four and, aha, this right here is a right triangle, three, four, five, because we know two sides are four and five, so this side and this part right here is three. Okay, cool. So three, four, five. Wait, it seems like there's some other triangles here as well. Are they perhaps are similar? Maybe they're similar? Let's see. If this angle is A, then we can call this angle 90 minus A. Because the sum of these three angles in a right triangle is 180. And this is 90. So that means that this angle must be A as well, because 90 plus 90 minus A plus A has to be 180. Oh, but now we again have an angle A here. So then this must be 90 minus A. And similarly, this is right because it's well a square. So this has to be A for the sum of the angles in the line to be 180. And this is again right because it's well a rectangle. So that means this angle is 90 minus A, and this angle is also 90 minus A. And this is again right, so this is A. Wait, all of these triangles have two angles in common, or three rather, A, 90, and 90 minus A. That means they're similar. Okay, now, so we've got a bunch of similar triangles to use here. So let's just say, let's call this part A. Okay? Now the key thing here is that the way you don't get mixed up with your similar triangles is you see that the 3, the size length with ratio 3, is opposite the angle A, and the size length with ratio 4 is opposite the 90 minus A angle. So if that green part over there is A, then this part is 4 thirds A by similar triangles. Oh, but if, if the green part is A, then this part right here, this must be 4 minus A, because we know the entire side of the rectangle is 4. Interesting. So, essentially, we can also use this big similar triangle over here, right? Because that's also similar, A, 90 minus A. So, that by that big similar triangle over there, we know the side length opposite of A is going to be 4 thirds the side length this, the side length opposite of A is going to be the proportional to the 3 side, and the side length opposite 90 minus A is proportional to the 4 side in the 3, 4, 5 triangle. So A, the side length opposite A, will be 3 fourths the side length opposite 90 minus A. So 3 fourths of 5, because again, 3 to 4 is the ratio between the sides opposite A and 90 minus A. So this side length is 3 fourths times 5, or just 15 fourths. So that means the, the area of that triangle is 5 times 15 fourths, which is 75 fourths, and then we divide by 2 to get 75 eighths, because it's 1 half times that. So 25 minus 75 over 8 equals 120 over 8 minus 75 over 8, which is 
45 or 125 is because it's 200 over 8 minus 75 over 8. So 125 over 8, which is 15 and 5 eighths. That is D. Thanks for watching.